Nothing has unveiled its latest operating system, Nothing OS 2.0, along with the Nothing Phone 2. This updated version retains the sleek and minimalist dot matrix design of its predecessor, while incorporating important improvements and a touch of elegance. Now, if you are interested in replicating the setup of Nothing OS 2.0 on your Android device, you have come to the right place. In this video, I'll be presenting two distinct setups that emulates the home screen of Nothing OS 2.0. This setup not only captures the essence of minimalism but also offers functional features. Among these two setups, one adopts a darker theme while the other embraces a lighter aesthetics. I will provide links of the icon packs, widgets and wallpapers that I'll be using to create these setups along with their backups so you can easily recreate them on any Android device. Now without any further ado, let's dive into the details and explore the darker home screen setup first. In Nothing OS 2.0, the company has placed a strong emphasis on the widgets and this focus is evident in the design that I have created. At the top of the screen, you will find two square widgets that serve different purposes while the other showcases the track that is currently playing. The music widget offers convenient functionality allowing users to change track, pause and play music. By clicking on the widget, users can also access the music player, with Spotify being the application used in my case. For this setup, I have incorporated a widget called Something KWGT. This widget offers an impressive collection of around 50 meticulously designed widgets, available in both dark and light variations. These widgets follows the minimalist and elegant nothing styled aesthetics, exuding simplicity and sophistication. Users can also scale these widgets, adjusting their size according to personal preferences. Moving on to the next widgets, we have two toggle widgets that are not native to this KWGT widget pack. However, I have created these toggle widgets and provided a backup for easy installation, eliminating the need for users to recreate them manually. At last, we have a distinctive Google search bar with red accents, which you may notice is a reoccurring theme throughout this setup. These red accents add a unique touch, giving the overall design a distinguishable look. Continuing with this setup, I have placed four set of my most frequently used apps between the widgets, creating a visually subdued and monochromatic design that aligns with the aesthetic of Nothing OS 2.0. To achieve this, I utilize the Pixu Dark Icon Pack, which perfectly embodies minimalism and add a refreshing touch of elegance to the setup. With a wider range of support for over 7500 plus icons, I discovered that it covered nearly all the apps that I have installed on my device. What particularly impressed me was how closely the icons resemble the style of Nothing OS 2.0. Each icon beautifully captures the design philosophy, resulting in a cohesive and unified appearance of the device. With the release of Nothing OS 2.0, a collection of 12 new wallpapers have also been introduced and they can be conveniently downloaded using the free app called Phone Walls. For this setup, I have opted for a simple and elegant wallpaper that aligns perfectly with the overall aesthetics. The color used in the wallpaper are muted and calming, contributing to the visual pleasing of home screen experience. What enhances the setup even further is the seamless alignment between the wallpaper and the widgets. The colors of the widgets beautifully complements the wallpaper, creating a sense of balance and visual cohesion of the home screen. Now let's explore the second setup, specifically designed for those who prefer light themed home screens. In the setup, the focus is primarily on widgets, with fewer icons present on the home screen. Starting at the top, there are two elegantly designed widgets that utilizes the same bespoke dot matrix fonts. Following these widgets, there is an alarm toggle widget and two app icons perfectly aligned horizontally. Continuing down to the home screen, you will find two rounded toggles widget with red accents. These widgets provide easy access to toggling mobile data and Bluetooth connectivity without the need to pull down the notification shade. Lastly, my favorite widget in this setup is a combination of square-shaped icons, offering convenient access to popular apps such as Gmail, Twitter, Facebook, Amazon, and WhatsApp. Additionally, the widget showcases the initial alphabets of these apps, making it both convenient and functional. For this light-themed setup, I have utilized a different icon pack called Ash Icons. These icons feature a flat white design with subtle grey accent, closely resembling the light color scheme of Nothing OS 2.0. The wallpaper chosen for this setup depicts a black and white image of water with floating circles on the surface. These circles are composed of various materials such as metal, plastic or glass, arranged in a symmetrical pattern. The reflective nature of the water creates a sense of depth and movement, adding to the overall visual appeal of the wallpaper. Its monochromatic tone blends quite beautifully with the light theme setup, enhancing the overall aesthetics. So guys, these are the two exclusive Nothing OS 2.0 setups that you can try. Now let's see how you can simply recreate these setups. 
first you have to download and install all the apps that I have showcased from the link in the description down below. Now simply install Nova Launcher from the Play Store. Once done, open the Nova Launcher setting and scroll till you find Backup and Restore option. Just click on that and simply restore the backup that I have provided. You might have to do some tweaks in order to make it look like this. So there you have it guys. This is how you can make your Android home screen look like nothing OS 2.0. I hope you have find this video useful and if you do then do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.